there's monkey business going on in Cambodia. Demand for primates used in medical research soared during the COVID-19 pandemic, and no country appears to have benefited as much as the Southeast Asian nation. Cambodian exports of long-tailed macaques, prized for their biological similarities to humans, reached a quarter of a billion dollars in 2022. But US prosecutors say the business isn't all legitimate. Cambodian officials who are supposed to be regulating the industry are instead contributing to an illicit trade of poached macaques the US has charged. Only captive bred macaques can be used in testing, both to protect dwindling wild populations and maintain the integrity of the medical experiments. But long tails are slow to breed, and suppliers are allegedly supplementing their shipment with wild cork monkeys. A senior Cambodian official is awaiting trial in Miami on charges he colluded to smuggle thousands of illegally poached macaques into the United States. He and other officials accused in the case have denied the charges. This fortified monkey farm, owned by the sister of Cambodia's longtime strongman ruler Hun Sen, isn't part of the US government's case. But one former US Fish and Wildlife Service agent who spent decades investigating the wildlife trade says it is a prime example of an incestuous relationship between Cambodia's political elite and its booming monkey business, and why it means the country's industry is unlikely to reform anytime soon. Conservationists in the US hope the trial draws new attention to an industry they say has been rife with abuse for years, but with so much money at stake, the outlook for the macaques looks bleak. Thank you.